Welcome, dear travelers, to the vibrant city of Havana, Cuba. As your enthusiastic guide, I'm thrilled to take you on an unforgettable journey through this beautiful place filled with rich history, colorful culture, and of course, some delightful Cuban humor. Our adventure begins at the iconic El Capitolio, a stunning neoclassical building inspired by the United States Capitol in Washington, D.C., built in 1929. It served as the seat of the Cuban government until the revolution. Now, it's a majestic symbol of Havana's architectural legacy. As we stroll through the surroundings, keep an eye out for some classic cars they are the heart and soul of Havana's vintage charm. From El Capitolio, we'll take a leisurely walk to La Bodeguita del Medio, a famous bar that claims to be the birthplace of the mojito. Hemingway himself was a frequent patron, and you can still see his witty quotes scribbled on the walls. Speaking of which, here's a little Hemingway-inspired joke. Why did the writer always carry a pencil and paper? in case he got into a novel situation. Next up, we'll head to the picturesque neighborhood of Habana Vieja, where time seems to stand still. Wander through its narrow, cobbled streets, and marvel at the Spanish colonial architecture. Our main stop here is the Plaza de la Catedral, home to the awe-inspiring Catedral de San Cristobal. This masterpiece boasts an asymmetrical facade, and the locals jokingly say that the uneven towers represent Havana's eternal struggle with parallel parking. A short walk away, we'll find ourselves at the lively Plaza de Armas, Havana's oldest square. History buffs will appreciate the surrounding colonial buildings, now housing a treasure trove of second-hand bookstalls. Rumor has it that for every book you buy, you get a free joke. Here's one to start. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Now, let's take a relaxing stroll along El Malacan, Havana's famous seawall, offering breathtaking views of the ocean and the city's skyline. It's the perfect place to unwind and enjoy some refreshing coconut water or a Cuban cigar. Just remember, smoking might be bad for your health, but it's a great way to start a conversation with a fellow traveler. As our day nears its end, we'll venture to the artsy district of Vedado. Here, you'll find the vibrant and bustling Callahan de Hamel, famous for its street art and Afro-Cuban cultural expression. It's a perfect spot to dance to some salsa beats and immerse ourselves in the lively spirit of Havana. Finally, let's wrap up our tour with a visit to the historic Hotel Nacional de Cuba, a luxurious establishment with a fascinating past. Rumor has it that ghosts of famous guests still roam the halls, seeking the perfect Cuban cocktail. And speaking of cocktails, do you know why the rum is always gone at parties? Because pirates have learned to. Yo ho ho. It down. I hope you've enjoyed our journey through the enchanting streets of Havana. Remember, this is just a taste of what Cuba has to offer. Whether it's the lively music, the warm people, or the captivating history, Havana will leave a lasting impression on your heart. Until next time, my friends, stay curious, keep smiling and always embrace the Cuban zest for life.